Hi, I'm Sherelle Walters Rodriguez, and welcome to CCPL Get Transformed, where we're shooting today from the 2017 Maker Expo at the Tech Center right around the corner from Central, because Central's under renovation right now. We're making that better for you, so when we open, we'll have more services, we'll have more opportunity for you to take advantage of the library. As you know, or may not know, we do have 10 libraries, with the exception of Central being renovated right now, but nine vibrant libraries and we're going to have a lot of great activities this summer so you and your children could be engaged and take advantage of learning and keeping their minds stimulated while they're out of school. We'll look forward to seeing you and be sure again to pick up a loud and clear or you can access us online at library.chesterfield.gov. We have a calendar of events, programs. If you're a business owner, you can take advantage of our meeting rooms, a number of things. So don't let the summer go by without us not having a chance to see you. Again, I'm Sherelle Walters Rodriguez with CCPL Get Transformed. Hi everyone, I'm Sydney, one of the many interns here in Chesterfield County this summer. Today I'm out at Meadowdale Library. One of the coolest things I've learned about during my internship this summer is the diversity of things that you can do here at the library. Let's check out some of the sights and sounds from Spring Into Music. kids who know how to code, it opens up so many like job possibilities and careers and stuff and also it's really fun because you can make like robots and computers and stuff. But what coding basically is, is knowing how to write instructions and how to give commands to a computer that will follow them literally. Coding is becoming a new thing. Um, it, it been in at the elementary school level, they're offering coding after school activity. So I thought it would be interesting. I've always gone on the event calendar and looked at events and done library things. That's how I found it. We did two different activities, and one of them was something called the peanut butter sandwich. Put the peanut butter on the bread, then put the jelly, then put it together to show them the importance of choosing your words rightly when you're doing coding. You follow their instructions literally. You get like the whole loaf of bread and the whole jar of peanut butter, and you just like boosh. And then you step back and you're like, that doesn't look right. Let's look at our instructions. And it's great because it's so silly and ridiculous. The kids love it, but it also really gets the point across on you've really got to be literal. You've got to be very specific. I think if anything, he learned that there's a lot more details into a broad idea. 
There's a lot more steps than actually just getting the bread or having mom and dad make it. So then our other thing that we did was the programmer and computer. Go forward, go backward, turn left, turn right. They lay down on the floor, all of these little instructions in sequence, and then their friend goes and follows them. And it's great because if they've coded it wrong, then they'll fall over or run into a wall or just hop in circles because that's what they got told to do. So it's very active and very interactive and some of the kids get really into it. And it was just, it was so much fun. Your five-year-old really enjoyed this program, we're gonna go ahead and offer the next level and we're just gonna kind of play it by ear. And as long as kids are like, that was great, what's next? We're gonna keep doing this. It kind of helps save money too, because if not, you're going out somewhere and you spend money, but if you come to the library, you can pack a lunch and stuff and it saves money in between money activities. Well, hopefully you have liked some of the offerings that we've shared with you here at CCPL. Again, we have nine libraries that are operational now, a 10th library being remodeled for you. You've seen Sydney Lake, our intern. This is our intern that we have had most of the summer. She's done some wonderful things for the library by helping us to promote either through our Loud and Clear magazine and some other things as well, and including this uh, segment here that you're watching today. Day. So Sydney, I'm, you have been a great intern. We really Thank have you. appreciated <laughs> having you around. What are some of the things that you've learned being an intern with CCPL? Right. Um, I mean, definitely just all of the different things that you can do at the library. Mm -hmm. I guess when you hear the word library, you automatically think, oh, it's just, you know, a house of books. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of all that you can do there. But I've learned that there's so many programs, not just for kids, but adults and teenagers too. So that's just been something that's been um, really enlightening for me learning yeah. about the library. And you're a young adult. Sometimes libraries don't see folks your age, your right. college age, a rising junior at yes. University of Richmond. Mm -hmm. So tell us how working at the library and some of the resources that are available will help college students like yourself. Right. Um, I mean, I know at least just for me, definitely going back to school in the fall, mm -hmm. I'm going to start taking more advantage of um, you know, talking with the librarians, not only at the public library, but also at school and um, because they're very knowledgeable and they know how to, just how to help you and that sort of thing. So yeah. I'll definitely take advantage of that. And um, for other young adults, I'd say just check out any of the programs that the library has to offer. I know that they, you know, will have documentary days and um, teen art clubs mm -hmm. and that sort of thing so there's all different sorts of things to do here yeah. which is exciting. You so. mentioned a couple of things that I did want to mention during this time with um, our viewers here. Uh, you mentioned the teen art club which is yes. really exciting and that's actually takes place here at the Chester here. Library mm -hmm. where we are now but you also mentioned talking to a librarian. We do have a program called Learning Plan and uh, Sydney have you been exposed to that? Do you know anything about our learning plan and actually making an appointment with a librarian to learn about some of the things? Is that something you see yourself doing? Definitely. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, especially um, being a college student and um, approaching the second half of my career, definitely doing a lot more research and that mm -hmm. sort of stuff. I don't know how to use, you know, any of the databases mm -hmm. or anything like that. So I think, you know, talking with a librarian will definitely be beneficial for me. Yeah, and with your busy schedule, I can see how it would be beneficial. If I remember correctly, you're a double major and a minor. Talk yes. about what you're doing at University of Richmond. Right, so I'm a double major in leadership studies and political science, and I'm minoring in journalism. So kind of a lot of writing and talking, but that's what I really enjoy. So. Yeah, and so how do you see this internship helping you in your college career and maybe in your professional career as you move forward? Right, I think definitely just being able to hone my writing skills, get some real world <clears throat> experience, mm -hmm. and um, you know, just like networking and that sort of thing. So it's all been a really good opportunity. It's been great to have you. Yes. We have enjoyed it. And <laughs> Sydney's been riding around with us, learning about some of the programs. We have the Stella Luna program, which I understand is about a fruit bat. Yes. That's been very <laughs> exciting for some of the young people. And live bats have come into our libraries. and. Young people, meaning children, have been able to be exposed to them uh, in that way, which yes. is great. We have had so many other programs. Do, you, do any of them come to mind right now that uh, that you've enjoyed? Right, yeah. Um, it was really fun going out and seeing um, the pre-coding with preschoolers mm -hmm. program. Um, 
just since it's something, you know, that's up and coming and something that people are starting to get really interested in. And it was fun to see um, kind of a creative way to get kids involved early on. So. Yeah, yeah, that is great because coding is in, as you, I'm sure you know. The other thing that CCPL offers are meeting rooms and other services for you. So it's not just as Sydney said, not just books, not just programs. We actually have services and free meeting rooms. So if you have a civic organization or an organization that you're looking for meeting space, we encourage you to go online and you can reserve a meeting room at any of the libraries that we have. We have all kinds of services available. We work with an organization that helps people starting businesses. So there's so many things that you can get at the library. All you need to do is visit our library website, library dot chesterfield dot gov and you can see some of the many things that are going on at the library so yo so we want to make sure that you see some of the other great things going on at the library so take a look at this fiber arts is a an umbrella term for various crafts that use fiber uh, various wool cotton hemp, um, linen, so th that it would include knitting, but also crochet, sewing, quilting, spinning, or all of the above. I thought it would be good to have a library hosted one, but people seem to really enjoy it and, you know, as a reason to come out for retired people and then a socialization opportunity. I lived in a fairly small community, a very rural area actually in far northern California and the library system was not nearly so uh, comprehensive, um, not just in terms of the collections but in terms of the activities and services available. I've only started making use of that and it's been a very pleasant surprise. Everyone's engaging with each other and teaching each other and it's just a, a neat socialization thing. There's a wonderful quote um, that it, uh, how good it is to be among people who are reading. Mm -hmm. And I would add, it's even better to be among people who are reading and knitting. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sydney, and today I'm out at the North Courthouse Library to learn more about uh, the summer learning program and what all of the libraries are offering. Be sure to pick up a copy of this summer's edition of Loud and Clear to make note of all the dates of all the programs that you want to participate in this summer. Blast off with summer learning. It's easy and it's fun. Set your own goal or use the goal suggested by your school. Talk to a librarian about what you're learning and be entered into a weekly prize drawing. When you tell us you've met your learning goal, you'll win a prize. We're providing programs and activities to keep you reading and learning all summer long. Well, if you didn't make it to Maker Expo 2017, no worries. We have a number of signature events coming up over the next several months, such as Little House Days at Enon Library. We also have Festival of the Written Word at Midlothian Library, Murder Mystery at Clover Hill. So you'll be able to find all of those things on our library website at library.chesterfield.gov. And we also have the Loud and Clear publication that is in some of the stores in the Chesterfield area, but you can definitely find them at our library. So I encourage you to pick one up and see what's going on. Again, if you didn't make it at the Maker Expo, no worries because of another thing. It's because many of the activities that we have going on here, we do have at our library, such as the 3D printer. We have maker spaces at some of our libraries as well. Midlothian is one of them, Clover Hill. So you and your kids will have a number of things to do throughout the summer. Don't worry, we got you covered here at CCPL.